Good morning, folks. We're setting a watch for solar wind impact tomorrow. We've got another large earthquake in a rare location. Volcanic ash falling on towns, new planets discovered, and more. But let's get started over at spaceweathernews.com. We're finding bright active regions incoming from the left, a sizable dark coronal hole departing on the north, and thin dark plasma filaments all around. We have not seen any solar flares of note and no CMEs from sunspots or filaments. The sunspots incoming are small and relatively isolated, so it will indeed be the plasma filaments taking the top eruption potential today. They have been active on the incoming limb, but are staying quiet while facing Earth. Solar wind is currently calm and in normal range, which is leaving Earth's magnetic field relatively calm as well. We expect the phi angle of the solar wind to shift today, however, and the impact of the coronal hole stream from the northern system to impact tomorrow. Hopefully the last above average shake during this sequence has occurred overnight. You know the lithospheric watch was high due to the coronal hole. Six pointer struck south of Africa and boy that's a great place to release pressure far away from people. Thank you. Sadly not all parts of the lithosphere have those manners. An uninhabited island in the Solomon Islands erupted and is dropping ash over small towns on nearby islands. Officials are very much struggling to get more information. Today's top story is so new there is only the manuscript. No images, videos, or major press release. Last night it was announced that a star just slightly bigger than our sun has been discovered to have six planets. This is not like the Trappist system, which is closer to the Jupiter system than our macro-scale solar system here. And here we have a sun-sized star and the planets are not all crammed in close, but spread from about Mercury's orbit to around Jupiter or Saturn, the same space where we fit six planets. Now the smallest one they found was about the size of Neptune, but none were as large as Jupiter, which is a shocking consistency of size for all the planets, all of them being bigger than Earth. It is notable that two of those are going to be fitting in the habitable zone as has been traditionally defined, and veteran observers know the reality is going to be greatly expanded. Tornadoes dropped in the U.S. yesterday, and more could happen tonight as this system is strong and racing towards the coast tonight. Folks, it is the last week for pre-orders of your little one's gift that we can guarantee will arrive before Thanksgiving. Website members at suspiciousobservers.org. Last night's episode of Deeper Look was number 82 on the year and the third episode of Mind War. We greatly appreciate your support. We've got the world wind maps coming up, null school, and shots of our star to close. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now. It's 525 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.